Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show and explain to you how you can install SAP GUI 8.00 because basically the SAP GUI is the front end to use the SAP system. Of course you can also use SAP Fiori, the technology, the user experience in the browser to use the SAP system and to develop ABAP you can also use the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment Eclipse to code with an ABAP but basically even though um, there are modern technologies SAP GUI is still one of the technologies heavily used to use the SAP system. And to basically install the SAP GUI, you have to log into me.sap.com. And there basically you have to go to the software center. So put this link into your browser. And then it's, it's important that you log in with your S user. So with your universal SAP ID, here it's important that you have a user. So you can request this within your company, align internally to get a an user. Then if you are in here, then it's important that within search in software downloads. So here <clears throat> you enter SAP GUI 8.00 because this is the newest version. Um, don't search within here. So there you search the whole um, me.sap.com. So the whole um, uh, knowledge uh, center of SAP. So put this in here to search within the software center. Then hit the enter key. Then in the background, um, all the uh, possible software will be listed. And then what I recommend is that under available to download you scroll almost or you scroll to the bottom and here it's important you can get the newest version so here we can see SAP GUI for Windows 8.00 and um, I will put a little bit let's do it that way to make me a little bit smaller that you are aware of this so here you can see um, the newest version for the 32-bit operating system. So if you're using Windows for 32-bit, then you can use this. If you're using a 64-bit, uh, then you can use this one. So I recommend to get to know the newest uh, version. If you click um, on this button, basically, so then you can also get some content info. So here, if I click on this, then you will be redirected to get some detailed information about this. Also having the checksum in here. Um, yeah, so here you can scroll down about all of those changes. And then within here, you can start object direct to download. Or if we're going back, then you can also click on here to download the file. So here then we can see that now the uh, download uh, is starting in the background. Takes a couple of seconds depending on your internet connection. Okay, great. So here we can see that it has been downloaded. So then next what you can do is you can click on this. Then this pop-up will open up. So the front end installation starts. And basically then here this wizard will open up and you will be guided through the installation process. So here I click on next. Here it's important that you decide what you would like to install. Of course, we would like to install SAP GUI for Windows. And then here you can decide whether you would like to use the SAP PDF print or the automatic workstation update. Um, yeah, I leave it um, unchecked. So I just would like to install the SAP GUI here with the plus sign. You can also see some detailed information that will be installed. So this is fine. Then we're going to next. Here you can see where basically the SAP GUI should be installed. So with browse, you can also change the installation folder. 
but then I click to next. And then here the installation will be continued and this takes a couple of seconds. Okay, then here you can see the installation of SAP products completed successfully. So we click on close. Then you can um, open up then the SAP logon. So here, if you search for this, then you can see that now the SAP logon has been installed. The next, what we're going to do is to make some settings that basically um, you can log into the SAP system. You can make some SAP GUI options and so on. But before doing this, I would also like to show you another option to download the SAP GUI if you don't have any chance to get access to the me.sap.com platform because then you can also reach out to developers.sap.com slash trials minus downloads.html and here almost at the end so the first if you open this web page then here um, you can see this and then within here you can just filter for sap gui and then here you can also have the possibility to download the sap gui for windows within here if you're using another operating system like mac os then you can use the sap gui for java but basically this is also another possibility to download the sap GUI for Windows, especially if you would like to use the SAP Cloud trial platform to um, exercise ABAP, to learn ABAP, then you can use um, this download file in here. Okay, great. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're making some changes. So I personally always do this after installing the SAP GUI. So therefore in the top left area with this hamburger menu, you click there and then you choose options. So here you can leave under visual design, we can open this up and the first thing is changing the theme. So I personally like the SAP signature theme the most. So then I click on apply and OK. And here we can directly see what is the um, outcome of this. So after restarting it here, we can see now the SAP log on. OK, so then let's start once again the SAP GUI options. And then font, you can leave them as they are. Branding, you can leave them as they are. So this is perfectly fine. And the interaction design here, this is also fine, but within visualization one. Here I recommend to select show keys within drop down lists. And if you want to, you can also sort them because in the SAP GUI there are a couple of drop downs. And then you can also show the ID at the beginning. So by doing this, then you can always see uniquely what is the value of a drop down and not just the description. Then here, I think this should be also enabled by default, but you also should show the OK code field uh, in the top left area. So then let's go through them. This is all perfectly fine. So if you also want this, I think it's uh, disabled by default. Um, so I don't want to hear the SAP GUI sounds. So this is also perfectly fine. So then here these settings, you can leave them as they are. What could be also um, quite useful is in the history. You can enable the history for fields up to 255 characters to make sure not to lose any information in the history. And you can then leave the other settings as they are. So click on apply and OK. So, and what we next have to do is, so basically here I have maintained some of my 
connections. You can also do this if you here go to new, then you can click to connection and then basically you can specify, uh, you can select user specified system, go to next and here enter your description, application, server, instance number and system ID. Rarely, sometimes you also have to enter your SAP router string. So you have, you can align internally to get those informations for the ABAP trial system. There basically you can um, um, refer to the Docker pages or to my already created videos to get those information. So here basically, so let's uh, log into one system. So first of all, you have to enter your uh, credentials or your pass, username and your password. Then you are logged in. So here I have entered a start transaction. So most probably you will enter in here and the extras set start transactions. You can set your start transactions. But what I recommend also at the beginning is to under extras and settings to display the technical names. So select this checkbox, then you will see the transaction code at the beginning in the area menu in the SAP Easy Access menu. So yeah, those are a couple of settings I would do. This is the procedure how you can install the SAP GUI. So if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.